I'm back. Hopefully I didn't lose everybody. It looks like I did. Let me see, did it, did it restart the stream or did it just continue? If it continue, oh, motherfucker. I'm hoping it just continue. It did this the other night. Ah, uh, fuck it. Son of a bitch. Somebody's back here. Hello, somebody. Oh no, it's there. Okay, so it looks like on my main channel. Yeah, that's my main. On my main channel, it, for whatever reason, started an all new stream. So let me pretty some stuff up there real quick. I don't know why. It did this the other day. Switch accounts. Yeah, my internet is it when it's working, it works fine, but it it's been doing this weird thing where it'll blink out and I have to restart the router, which takes a couple of minutes. And unfortunately, when it does that, I uh, I'm dual streaming, so on my gaming channel, for some reason, it just stays with the same one. But on my main channel, for whatever reason, it uh. It starts a whole new stream. So I have to go and like put all the information back in there. Which is a major pain in the fucking ass. And I lose everybody who was in there. And that sucks. Let's see, let's open. Let's take just a second for the two of you. Hey, I see two of you are back. Happy to see you here. I don't know why it does. It does. It, it's done that for the past couple of streams. Like after about an hour and a half to two hours, right under the two hour mark, it'll just say no, <laughs> and it'll it'll turn off. I have a a service ticket in. Still waiting on Elon though, man. I'm actually calling a uh, Spectrum Internet, which has the best internet in this area. And I know some everybody has their own opinions of things, but. They do have the best internet in this area, but they do not run to my house to like, they do, they service this area, but not my exact area. So I have a, I have a call into them asking them, hey, how much, how much do you want? Because I've heard you can do that. How much do you want to just run that shit to my fucking house? And what they'll do, they will do that, depends on how much they're asking for. But when they do it, okay, it looks like it, they will um uh when they do it you own that essentially so if anyone else like in the i don't have a neighborhood but there are people in the vicinity of my house i can't see any of them i can see one across the lake but i can't see any of the people that live like my neighbors and stuff but if there are people around that i know internet's a bitch to get out here so if any of them wanted it what they would do was spectrum would tell them yeah but you have to call this guy he owns that so you'd have to uh ask him how much money he wants and i read about a guy who did that and he made he spent like a, a, a fair amount of money to get it to his house but once it was there everybody else in the area was like hey we want it too and they all had to pay him five thousand dollars each just one time, like th th to have it run to their house, and he got that, and then he—I mean, that was it. He got it because they were essentially running off of what he paid for. And I was like, "Hell yeah, you can make some money off this shit!" All right, almost got everything. Sorry, I'm having to set all this back up. I don't know why it's only my main channel that it does that to. Everything else stays the same. I guess I could rename. I'll put. Components. Parentheses. Part two. There we go. 
Oh shit, I went over. Let's 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 take away. I need um, one character over too much. There we go. Okay. I think that is it. Save. And we'll get to looking at the final two components, probably the most interesting components of the whole thing, <laughs> besides the GPU, which of course I am missing today. But I will do the unboxing at the beginning of the build video, which I'm sure that during the build video, this I'm hoping maybe I can have this fixed by then, which is tomorrow. So the actual build itself shouldn't take that long, really. Um, the 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 biggest the hardest part about building a PC is the the cable management. <laughs> Just waiting. Okay, saved. Cool. Oh, oh, one last very important thing I must do. Monetization on. <laughs> very, very important. <laughs> I don't get paid a lot here on YouTube, but what I do get paid, I want. Okay, so who do we got here? Let's see. Anybody talking as of yet? Did you save? Yeah, you saved. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because we don't need all that. Dragon six five one is here. Damn, Jacob, just damn. <laughs> yes, hello, my friend. How are you doing? Welcome to the second part of this stream that has been going on for about an hour and some change. Blame it on the alcohol. I brought bad luck, my bad. No, 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 you didn't. Um, hopefully we can get our, our other viewers back that were um, cut off because of that whole whatever you call it. All right. So I got these last two components. We'll jump into that in just a second. Amidst the midst of fire cast frost with barest wrists and... Sh what? <laughs> Amidst the mists of fire cast frost with barest wrist and stoutest boast, he thrusts his fists against the posts and still insists he sees the ghost. What is that from? I just, what is that? That's is that it? That's it, right? Isn't that from, that's from, not the movie, but the book. That's from the book. That's from it, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I read that fucking monster of a book literally but yeah that's from it i'm a i am 99 percent sure that's from it yep ah see i knew it because that's what um what was his name george not george george's his brother oh what was his name that's what he because he had a, a, a speech impediment or a lisp i think it was. i can't remember he had a speech impediment Ah, Nick's back. What's up, Nick? That's his way of getting rid of the stuff. Yeah, his stutter. That's what it was. Yeah, 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 stutter. I don't think that they included that in the movie, did they? Not the new movie. If they did, it was like it was nowhere near as predomin predominant in the movie as it was in the book. It's been a while since I've seen it, since I read the book and since I've seen the movie. Like the movie, by the way. Good movie. The first one. The second one was it was okay. Yeah, it's like a, a, a teaching tool or something. Okie dokie. I'm going to give it about one more minute, and then we're going to jump into probably one of the things that anybody who would be watching this type of thing and wants to see unboxings of these types of components, I think two of the most interesting parts, one definitely, uh, the sex scenes from the book will never get in the movie. No, um, especially the one sex scene, if we even want to call it sex, <laughs> in, the, in the end. That is so bizarre, and I know everybody's heard of it, but in reading it, because I knew it was going to happen, I'd already heard about it when I read the book. and Because I read the book probably, I don't know, 10, maybe 10 years ago? Maybe a little bit more, somewhere to 10, 12 years ago. Probably around 2005. Well, that's more than 10 years ago, I guess. So <laughs> but, uh, that's, well, shit, that's that's a lot more. Yeah, well, anyway, it was around 2005. And uh, Tim Curry is the man, RIP. Yes, Tim Curry was, uh, I like, um, and we'll talk about that sex scene, but 
I like uh uh Stalin. What the fuck? What is his name? Fuck the new Pennywise. Oh, I see the guy's face. Stalin. No, his name Stalin. Uh, his dad. I mean, uh, Starsguard. Bill. Sk- Bill Skarsgård. I like Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise. I thought he did a really good job. He had a great look. He had, he did he did a fantastic job. Um, but man, Tim Curry just had such a iconic run as Pennywise. Now Bill Skarsgård's movie was better than the ninety one it, but <clears throat> uh, Tim Curry. I'm not gonna say better. He was just both of them were menacing, but Tim Curry is just I don't know. He was just great in that role. But so was Bill Skarsgård. I thought Bill Skarsgård did it well, too. 90s NBA fan, which would be Antonio over on Twitch. What is up, Antonio? Thank you for checking it out over there on Twitch, my friend. Uh, what up, man? Are you back, back live or what? I am. Uh, it's the same thing that happened the other night. My router, my router that I have, my satellite, I'm using satellite, satellite internet. It's weird. Like, when it works, it works great. It's fine. I have no problems out of it. But it just periodically and on these streams especially after about an hour and a half to two hours it just says no and goes off i think there's something wrong with it i had some other issues with it i have a service ticket in i doubt they're going to come out this weekend they're not the fastest but um there's I'm, i told them i need them to replace the router because i can't even get wi-fi on it it has wi-fi but like the password you put the password in and it, it says it's wrong and i'm like well no <laughs> so I, i'm wired like if you see my well that's the door right there. You see that cable? That's an Ethernet cable. It's like a 150-foot Ethernet, 100-foot, I don't know. It's really fucking long. I bought it a few years back. That's running out here. There's steps right outside of that door that go, well, that way. It's going all the way at the top of the steps, through the kitchen, into the living room, over to the TV where the uh, router is. So I can't even use I'd probably do that anyway, honestly. <laughs> Because I like wired better than Wi-Fi. But I couldn't get a Wi-Fi signal from that thing if I wanted to. It won't let me. So, yeah. I told them I needed to replace that shit. Or I'm not going to pay. Uh, what? Did Tim Curry die? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Did, that was one of those things. I heard he died a while back, but then no, he wasn't dead. He's not dead, is he? He was scarier, but Tim Curry was creepier and brought zany and evil in one. Yeah, as I like that. How Tim Curry's was like one minute. He was unnerving because one minute he was like, hey, hey. Yeah. And like, crazy. yeah. I did like that that dichotomy he had there. Yeah, he died like 10 or 13 years ago, I think. that That's what I heard. But it, are you sure? Or is this like a Mandela effect thing? Let's look it up. Tim Curry. Let's look, because I, I had the same Mandela effect situation going not long ago. I don't think he's dead. Yeah, he's 75, born April 9th, 1946. He has not, upcoming movies, Fork. He's not dead. I heard that too, man. So I'm with you. This is like some Mandela effect shit. Because I thought he died some years back as well. But then I found out maybe about like a, a few years back that no, he's still alive. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, he is alive. He has an estimated net worth of $14 million as of 2020, by the way. <laughs> How was Tim Curry's health in 2022? Tim Curry cemented his place as a film studio. Yeah, he's alive. Tim Curry death. Tim Curry obituary, cause of death. What? Passed away. Tim Curry has left friends health now after suffering from... He had a stroke, it looks like, but he's still alive. Paralyzed. Is Tim Curry gay? Untold truth. I don't know. As far as I can tell, he's still alive. He didn't die all those years back, though, but I'm with you. I was there. I thought he died as well. Um, smart move getting that 150 foot yeah I had that um, I needed it for something like two years ago and I've had it since then is he I thought that stroke killed him no stroke did not kill him he's an amazing actor the 
quality is so much better on Twitch. It's like, yeah, um, Twitch is much better when it comes to streaming. Jacob, uh, we are from another universe where he did die. Mandela Bay. Yeah, exactly. See? I know, Dragon. Uh, by the way, I watched that movie you recommended to me, Dragon, and I am going to do a review of it. Uh, he Hellride, 2008. I liked it. It had some things. It's funny, though, that um, I, I knew it. this is how... He didn't make it, but as I was watching... Because, you know, it, it goes for like 10 minutes before the title card comes up. And, like, the credits. Opening credits. And I was watching it, and I was right there. I was like, this is like somebody doing their version of a Quentin Tarantino movie. Because I was sitting there watching, I was like, this is a mix between a Quentin Tarantino movie and a Robert Rodriguez, Rodriguez movie. It's like those two got together and made another Dust Till Dawn-esque movie. And one of the first things that pops up after about 10 minutes, I was thinking that the whole time it pops up, Quentin Tarantino presents. I know he didn't make it, but he clearly had some influence on it. And uh, this, it was very Robert Rodriguez slash Quentin Tarantino. Not individually one of them, but those two together. When they come together and work, that's what it, it really reminded me of them. Uh, loved him in Clue and Rocky Heart. Man, Clue is amazing. I love that movie. It's crazy to see the people we grew up with pass away. Bob Saget was crazy to think of, think about. Yeah, he wasn't even that old, but he like fell and hit his head or something. But now people are like have these conspiracy theories. Maybe he was murdered. Bob Saget was super fucking funny, and Bob Saget was really funny on his uh, stand up. If you ever watch his stand up, it was not what you were expecting because I didn't see his stand up until after you know his his America's Funniest Home Video Days and Full House, and he's always real clean in that. His stand-up, he just walked out on stage. The first thing he said was like, fuck shit, motherfucker, bitch. I mean, he like goes off and he said, I've just been waiting to get that off my chest a long time. He was dirty as hell. It was funny. Hell yeah, I hoped, hoped you'd like it. I did. He did. He produced it. Um, once again, I don't know how much input he had on the thing, but he definitely was, he was absolutely an influence on it. Four Rooms, Quentin and Rodriguez. Yeah. Um, Quentin Tarantino did... Oh, man, it's been so long since I saw Four Rooms. He did the one with... Uh... Shit. The guy from his first movie and was also in The Incredible Hulk. I see his face. Just can't remember his name. I'm not good with names tonight. But, um... Oh, no, he was in all of them. The Bellhop was in all of them. Tim. 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 Roth? Is it Tim Roth? I think it's Tim Roth. I can't remember. There was one specifically that Robert or that um, Quentin Tarantino directed because you know it was a different director on each one. I know Quentin uh, Robert Rodriguez directed the one about the spies, the the spies, and that was kind of like the uh, the genesis of Spy Kids, oddly enough. Yeah, Four Rooms was good. I remember that from back in the day. Was Madonna in that, or did she direct one? I can't remember. Anyway, let's get on with this unboxing. Now that we're the stream is back up, I don't know what happened there. I don't. It's the fucking router, man. Fuck that thing. But hopefully, I'll have it fixed soon. Uh, alrighty. So we got two pieces left. I'm not gonna unbox. Speaking of routers, I have this big cattywampus router as well. I've had this for a while. I didn't buy this for this build, but this is like a legit router. It does uh, Wi-Fi six and all that stuff, which I haven't opened it yet because I don't have a huge need for it as of yet. I have a little router over there through a TP cast that, uh, that I use for my headset, but I also use it for just to branch off down here. But, uh, yeah, I will be using this eventually, but, I mean, who wants to see me? There's nothing special about this. I mean, it's a, it's a nice router, but there's nothing like, ooh, and ah, to look at over it. So I'm not going to open that. That's not part of the build. It was just a box that was over there. It got mixed in with the other boxes. Okay, so now to the parts that I know those of you that are into this unboxing stuff and you're like really into these parts. Not a lot to this box and this unboxing part here, but one of the main core components to the system. This is an i9. What do they call it? What's the lake thing? I can never remember. Uh, it's got to be on here. Maybe not. Alton, I want to say Alton Lake, but I know it's not that. Something like, I don't know, whatever they're calling it. 12th gen, it's a 12K, 12.9K, 12.900K. So this is about as, yeah, 12.900K, 30 megabyte cache, 
LGA 1700. This is about as high end as you can get when it comes to Intel, for sure. I mean, yeah, I don't want to hear about the whole AMD versus Intel thing. Yeah, I know there's Threadrippers and all that, and the Ryzen 9 and all that. Okay, you know what? Those are all great, too. I'm running a Ryzen 7 in my current system. Ryzen maybe a 5, either a 5 or a 7 in this system. But in this one, I, I think that the Ryzen's are great, and I think the Intel's are great. They both have great products. This is a good chip. Even if you're not a fan of Intel, this is a really powerful chip. It's really good for multitask. It's really good because it has um, 16 cores, 8P8E, and the way that they separate all that up, that's a, a fairly new thing. It makes it really good for gaming and for what I will be using a lot of, like video editing and things like that. This is a workhorse when it comes to that stuff. But let's open her up and see if it looks any different from any other processing chip. Probably not. Pretty neat box. Like, it's open on the side and it's got like this big Mario coin in it. Yeah, so pretty cool. Okay. So as I said, this is the Intel. Let's move that microphone. This is the Intel 12th Gen i9 core unlocked 12900K. And uh, it's fast. It does a lot of shit. So <laughs> that's my official. It is an interesting box. I got to give it that. Like this is all open. It's totally open. And it's got this like a, it's a fucking Mario coin. That's all I can think of. Only thing that would have made it better is if it was a sonic ring. That would have been pretty cool. Mm. So it looks like this just... Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, look at that. As much as you pay for this thing, it better be all like sexy like that. Alright, so here we go. Bling! Give it extra life or something. There is, as far as I can tell, absolutely nothing else in the box. Oh, is there something? Oh, no, there is. There's stuff under here. There's an itty bitty manual. Nothing under that. So we got a little itty bitty manual with a sticker on it. Look at that. That's cute. I might keep this box. This is a neat box. Put it on my, put it in the backgrounds. Clout box. Good I9. Okay. So. It's all textured. Intel. I guess we, does it twist? Oh. Oh, look, it's got like a little lock on it and everything. Look at that. That is totally unnecessary, yet super cool at the same time. So you got two arrows like that, and you, like you're opening some like some 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 shit. Oh, you are. You're opening some like really. This is some powerful shit. All right, so I'm not taking this out because I have always been super paranoid about chips <laughs> and fucking their uh, the pins up. I mean, you fuck up one pin and you're you're just fucked. So, there it is, though. Actually, I am. I gotta take it out. I wanna take it out. I'm gonna regret this. If I fuck this up on the stream, I am gonna cry like a bitch. So, there she is. Did focus on that? Oh, yeah, I did. Whole lot of pins. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that. Focus. Well, that's about as good as I can get. Intel Core i9, i9, 12900K. Yep. That's a chip. It's really fast. But this is the, uh, what is going to run the system? Ooh. Oh, shit. Did I put it? Okay, there. Don't force it. Don't force it. I feel like I'm forcing it. I think it's upside down. Yeah, there we go. 
I have always been paranoid about the chip, the the pins on these chips, because you, like I said, man, you slightly fuck up one and you're you're just fucked. So, yeah, there's my chip. There's the uh, i9 power house chip thing. It's supposed to be a great a great um a great processor. So I'm looking forward to seeing how great it is. The, the The cool thing is about this is I know that just like any company thing that you have. Whenever somebody, you know, whenever there's competing companies, somebody's always like, oh, that one sucks because it's not the one I like. For me, right now I'm running, a, I had, my last computer had a R, I mean an i5 with a 16, actually let's go over here. My last computer had an i5 with a... 1060 not a ti or anything just regular 1060 um there's that again for comparison to my head uh and uh then i got this one that has an r5 it gets a high level r5 or it's a low level r7 <laughs> and this is a ryzen chip it's a amd and it's running a 1660 Super. So, and I've got, I, I up the RAM, I do that RAM. I did, this is a pre, pre-built. pre I know people are like, ew, pre built But, you know, I didn't feel like fucking with it. So, and I got a good deal on it. But uh, it's not the fastest computer in the world, but it's been fast enough for what I wanted to do with it. However, then I got into this mixed reality thing, and I'm starting to get into some more high-end gaming and high end the high end gaming side of things i haven't run into a game that this rig won't run but i have run into games that i cannot run in mixed reality and i especially can't run in mixed reality and stream i have run into some games that i run into problems running at higher settings while streaming and i don't want to fuck with any of that plus with all the video editing i do while this does it it exponentially it was much faster at rendering and doing everything than my old computer it still takes some time. With this one, I'm hoping that I can render a 4K review or regular video fairly quick. That's going to be my first test, honestly, with this thing. So I'm going to put my, my editing program on there and render a video. I want my, I'm going to edit a video and see how that process is and render it. And that will be how I'll be able to let you know how much more powerful this fucking system is just on that alone. Because that shit can take a long time. Um, I also... Of course, I'm going to do a lot of gaming and stuff too, and check all that out. I'm going to be, I've I've been looking at just a lot of games I never bought because I was just like, what's the point? I can get a better experience on my Series X with that game, but now with my computer, I'll be able to get a better experience with it. So, I'm going to probably jump on that. Like I bought Cyberpunk, which I have Cyberpunk 2077 on my Series X, which just got an update by the way, and. uh but I, my PC, I, I, I could have run Cyberpunk, but it was, my PC is nothing that's going to like, holy shit, run an ultra setting Cyberpunk or something. And Cyberpunk on PC is actually pretty good. It runs pretty stable. But, um, so I'm going to run it at like ultra everything, ray trace, all that shit with this new thing. And I'm, I like Cyberpunk. It had some issues here or there. I never ran into those big, huge bugs that people did, but granted, I only played it on next gen. But I'm looking forward to playing that one because that's a really good looking game. Some other games are really pretty and just especially the VR MR stuff and not just Beat Saber and Pistol Whip. There's some other games that are much more involved that are going to be really fun for stream like uh, Blade and Sorcery. That game is all the mods on that could be a lot of fun in a stream. All right. So we got one last cattywampus box to open up. This will be one of the more interesting boxes. It's the case. We're going to do that next. But let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, Dragon said, did you know Rob Zombie directed a segment in the Grindhouse movies, Werewolf Woman of the SS? It plays as a trailer on a TV in Planet of, uh, Planet Terror. Yeah, I did know that, in fact. It was on, um, I think you can get it on the DVDs or Blu-rays or whatever as well, but when you, I saw that in movie theaters, the double feature, because in theaters, the, the version of those two movies you get on home media is not the same one they had in theaters they may sell that one i don't know but in theaters it was one long movie with two short movies in it 
so the the movies uh, Planet Terror and Death Death Proof. They were shorter versions, and at the beginning and in between those two movies is when they had all those mock trailers where they had like the Rob Zombie one. They had the, um, uh, of course, Machete. That's where Machete started. Uh, they had uh, Eli Roth. He did one, like something about a turkey, thanks killing type of turkey thing. And I think Joe Dante or something. There's all these directors had an opportunity to make these little short trailer fake trailer movies and yeah i knew that rob zombie made that one i like rob zombie i don't love all his movies i want to <laughs> house of a thousand corpse uh uh was was the uh devil's rejects i i love that movie i thought it was awesome uh was the the, the third one in that back from uh, three from hell is that what it was yeah three from hell that was okay uh house of a thousand corpses hate that fucking movie I think it's terrible. That other movie he made a few years back, I didn't see. Oh, what was it? Salem. Something Salem. The one with Salem in the title. I never saw it, but I've heard it's terrible. His Halloween movies, hot take, didn't hate them. I can't say I loved them. I didn't hate them. A lot of people hate them. Didn't, didn't hate them. Uh... Boo, no puns. Did you know? Boo, no puns, lol. <laughs> Let's just get to the core of the unboxing, right? Uh, Antonio over on Twitch said, try to subscribe to you here on, Jake, on here, Jacob. I guess you have to be a partner to get paid. Yeah, I think uh, somebody was telling me about that today, actually. The, the ADT guy came by to sell me home security today, and he was he apparently streams, and he was telling me about Twitch streaming and stuff. And yeah, I think you have to have, it's not a whole, I mean, it's 50 subs, 50 followers, I think, or whatever they call it, and then a certain amount of, like, view, average views per, per stream. I imagine it's like YouTube, though, once you hit that follower and or subscriber goal, it, I mean, in most cases, you're probably hitting that other metric as well. Now that's real bling. Says Antonio, yeah. Invest in a sticker book, brother. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen the video the video of the kid that dropped the new iPhone when he was unboxing it for the news? Smashes the fuck out of his phone? No, I haven't, but that would be fucking amazing. <laughs> I hope that shit never happens to me, but that would be funny as hell. I'd laugh my ass off. Antonio said, I can't believe... Aiden Ross has 56,000 and my boy Jacob has none. Aiden isn't talking about about shit, but who he can scam, really. I don't know who Aiden Ross is. I'm assuming somebody on Twitch. Uh, Dragon hats off to you, though. I've only been a console gamer since the 80s. I throw controllers too much when angry at, the, at a game. Computer too expensive to throw. Yeah, true that. Now, I did the controller thing when I was younger, when I was a kid. Yeah, I, I beat the shit out of many a NES. Really, just one, because I was poor, so I only had that one. Um, but I fixed it a bunch of times. But yeah, nowadays, no, I, I can just put the shit down. I actually, I I try not to play or engage in games that are I know are going to purposely frustrate me. I'm beyond that part of my life. I actually talked to that guy who came to my house today about the ADT thing, and he was talking about Elden Ring, and I was like, Maybe. I mean, he was like, are you looking forward to it? And I was like, I mean, maybe. He was like, oh, so do you not like Souls-like games? I was like, I mean, Dark Souls is fine, but it's just not my cup of tea. He was like, yeah, it's too hard for some people. I was like, it's not that. I said, it just, it's kind of misogynist. I mean, it's like you, you just uh, glutton for punishment, and I'm not about that life anymore. I feel as if I've, I own part one and part two, I think. Maybe three. I don't think I own part three. And I don't know how I got them, but I acquired them. And I tried them both, and I understand that it takes a whole lot of skill, and it's like skill that you have to gain over time. And that is just something I'm not interested in doing because it is an extreme amount of frustration. I get the people that love it because you have that progression, and then when you finally do it and you beat it and you figure it out, it's extremely gratifying. Edges ain't me no more. I'm just not doing that. Like some things I can do that way. I like a challenge like Ninja Gaiden. 
the uh, 2004, I think it was. That game's hard as fucking balls. But something about that game just really spoke to me, and I would let that game torture me, and I'd play through it. But Dark Souls just didn't speak to me in that way. Uh, yep, I didn't see it in theaters, but heard about them all. Oh, uh, uh, Planet Terror? No, it wasn't Planet Grindhouse, Grindhouse, yeah. Yeah, I saw that while I was on a business trip back in the day. I hated the second Halloween, says Dragon. <laughs> I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was fine. That would be one hilarious video. Oh, the kid. Oh, we got some Bob Ross emojis. Hell yeah. I'm back, says Antonio, lol. Fuck Twitch. <laughs> Till we start getting paid, right? But I kind of got a dual stream that I need to figure out how to promote myself on Twitch. Which, I mean, I guess it's the same way that I promote myself on YouTube. I just got to get better at it. But um, I get good. So I need to try that. I want, I want to push that. I would like to stream more on Twitch and have some type of audience there. Because I know that, like, streaming mixed reality things, Twitch is a little bit, apparently on that stuff, they're a little bit more lenient like songs and stuff to a degree so i could probably get by with my streams over there because i was thinking if i could stream there and then upload like clips on youtube that would be nice dragon says 37 tattoos and 10 crazy women throughout my life i'm a glutton for punishment 10 crazy women i've probably been involved with more than 10 crazy women honestly not all at once i'll say that well, multiple ones at once, but not all at once. But yeah, definitely met up and hooked up with more than 10 crazy women. Uh, at least 10 crazy women, I'm sure. Uh, 37 tattoos. I have one, two. Now, I mean, you could consider like each arm one each, but they were all done at separate times, so I'm going to consider them separate. So it's one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four, five six seven eight do i have another one i think i only have eight i only have eight one of them's like a saying though it's like that big it's like a some greek it's it's that lettering but it's an actual saying from conan <laughs> uh my mo you want to see my most popular tattoo the one that gets the most laughs <laughs> Some of you may have already seen this. It's faded as fuck by now. I probably need to have it touched up. I got this when I got divorced years ago in 2009, 8. We separated in 2006. Divorce didn't go through 2009. <laughs> it was a... That's, uh, that, that process was bad. But uh, no, 2006 or 2007? 2007. It was two days after Halo 3 came out. Yeah, that's how I remember when I separated from my first. Best thing that ever happened to me, by the way. But yeah, my most popular tattoo that gets the most laughs. I used to break it out at, at uh, bars all the time. I wanted to get this across my back. When I first went to the tattoo parlor, I told him I wanted it across my back. The tattoo artist, he actually scammed me. He screwed himself out of money. He talked me into, he was like, if you're going to get this, get it smaller and get it somewhere else. And he told me to get it on my arm. I was like, all right. And I am now, I'm like, yeah, that was a better idea. <laughs> but, yeah. That is my most talked about tattoo that I have. So I can always tell people, I used to tell ladies at the bar all the time, well, I'm a bad motherfucker. I can prove it. And you're some corny ass shit like that. But when you're drunk, you know, you have more bravado about it. And I always got laughs, and sometimes more. <laughs> but, but yeah. I tattooed bad motherfucker on my body. Or I didn't. I paid someone to. I need to get another tattoo. My wife's gotten two, or two more, since I got one. And I'm like, that's not fair. <laughs> I want to get another one. All right, let's see. Um, But yeah, still here too. <laughs> Thanks, Antonio. Keep that viewership going over there on Twitch. I mean, you are. You just have to push it in the videos. Yeah. You're in line for a major boom, Jacob. You've been putting in hard work for a long time, man. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I hope so. I'm hoping, like, I get that, you know, that boom. 
Let me put it this way. After two years, Velda Fane only had 5K. Well, now she's got a lot more than that. I can't, like, piss in a cup and sell it to people. <laughs> uh, what is the one on your right forearm? That one? That's uh, ancient Greek. It means, uh, basically, it means... Um, shit. Wait, I know, I'm trying to think of the exact saying. Uh, it basically means uh, like strength through independence. That was another one that was not right after my divorce. Was, I was actually, uh, actually after I repaired myself after that whole ordeal. Like, you know, being, being independently strong and all that. Not, not needing other things and blah, 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 blah. Uh, full arm sleeves, elbows, knees, both cows, all the way down full back. Hell yeah, man. I want, um, I've got one on my back. I wanted to branch off of that one and have, uh, I don't know, full back, but almost full back and come up and go over my shoulders and branch. And I wanted to tie all this together and I was going to start with the one on my back. I got this spider on my back. I fucking, I hate spiders. I am like, I've gotten better about it as I've gotten a bit older. I've faced that fear a bit, but I am still, even though I will face them and defeat them in battle now, I'm, I am pretty deathly afraid of them. I ain't afraid of shit else. A snake could show up, fucking crocodile. I'm, I'm, shit, I'm not afraid of much of anything. Dark, all that shit. But a fucking spider, it takes everything in my <laughs> my being not to scream like a little bitch <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i it is like anxiety they are anxiety inducing in me and not much does that i mean i like i have learned to face that and just stand my ground now and stomp them or hit them or whatever swipe them away especially being out here in the country now but i am not gonna lie it has gotten easier but it's i still get that feeling that <laughs> like it, it took a, I had to face that fear. Um, I got it on my back because they are the you know monkey on my back. Uh, not the thermometer on your butt. Come on. <laughs> uh, ha, ha. I've always wondered about that tattoo, man. Thanks. Hey, no problem. Web and Black Widow crawling on elbow. Me? Oh, you do. Okay, gotcha. I've got a black. It's essentially it's it's not it's pretty much a black widow on my back. It's about that big. It's actually not exactly a black widow, but it has the red hourglass thing. It it is. It's like a. It looks more like a different kind of spider, honestly. I mean, for those that know spiders, most people don't know that much about spiders, but I wanted to know my enemy, <laughs> so it's technically not shaped exactly like a black widow. But it is, you know, it has that red thing he put on there. Whatever. Uh, the web on the elbow. I saw a video once that said that symbolized doing time. I have my name across my stomach like Tupac's Thug Life when I was 15. Always embarrassed me. My fear is open water. Uh, yeah, that's pretty... I'm not. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. But I do have an, uh, anxiety about the ocean. I love the ocean, though. But, yeah, I do get... I have a very active imagination, so when I go into the ocean, as much as I love it, all I can think about is Jaws. <laughs> it's, like, nonstop. And, but I love, like, jet skis and stuff, like, in the ocean, not on lakes. I live on a lake now. I could take a jet ski out there. It's just nowhere near as... But, yeah, that open water in a lake is even more terrifying because I can't see in it, but... Um, I love taking like a jet ski or a sea dew really technically not a jet ski out in the ocean and riding the waves. But, um, I've, if you've ever fallen off of a sea dew or jet ski, jet ski out in the middle of the fucking ocean, it's, it's scary, man. You can't think about it when it happens. <laughs> you just need to get back to the craft because it's scary because you can, like one time I fell off, I was riding double with somebody and I let her drive and I, t if you've ever ridden, a sea to not as much a jet ski you can you because those are the ones like you can go underwater for a period of time but sea especially they're going to ride wherever the water goes so if you ride a wave 
That fucker's going wherever the wave goes. You're not controlling it independently of itself like, like a car. You are just riding the wave. So I'd tell her, you know, ride wa- either ride into waves or ride over waves. Do not ride a wave sideways. And the reason is because if your wave is going this way and you come at it and ride it that way, you're going to go where the wave goes and the wave is going over. So if you hit a wave sideways, like if you try and ride a wave sideways, it's going to roll you the fuck over. There's no if ands, or buts about it. So you can crash into it or you can ride over it. <clears throat> Do not ride it sideways. Of course, she rides it fucking sideways while we're going a million miles a minute and it shot, uh, uh, flung us off. We skip across the fucking ocean like stones and we're way out. Probably a solid, I mean, the buildings at the beach look to be about that big. So probably damn near five miles out. And if you go real far out into the ocean, the waves are no longer going one direction. They're just all over the fucking place. <laughs> and it's, it's choppy. It's not like terrible, but it's not like just you know serene or anything it's there's waves coming from all directions so we're way out there god knows how deep it is this is like deep waters at this point way on out there so i hit the fucking water and i immediately i laugh for a second and then i kind of my brain catches up and i realize you're in the middle of the fucking ocean way out there way away from everything that scares the big shit away and yeah i uh kind of started to freak out so i just start going towards this thing but when she when she did it it flipped the sea do over so it was upside down now if you've ever ridden one of these things like rented it they'll tell you on the beach they'll always be like okay if it ever flips over that's okay it's got these two handles in the back you grab it like this and or like this and you just flip it and they show they show you they like they don't flip it but they show you and you're like yeah okay that makes sense it's floating in the water it won't be that hard what they fail to tell you is when you do this you get behind this thing and you're in five thousand feet of water <laughs> whatever it is you're not touching the bottom you grab this thing and you go like that all it does is move your body because this thing weighs more than you so your body just turns with it because you have nothing to stabilize your body with to turn this thing so no matter how much upper body strength you have you uh, your bottom just go you have nothing to stabilize your body so i'm doing that and i'm freaking out at this point because i'm like um what I need this thing to get over. I want out of this water. So I finally like jumped on top of it and like flipped it back over and all this. We got on and took off. One time I fell way out just like that out in the ocean and it flung me way away as well. And the woman I was with, we're sitting there. She's losing her fucking mind over there screaming. I was kind of laughing as I swam back to the sea dude just trying to keep my cool. And I heard one word. No, I heard it was multiple words. I whole I heard one sentence and it was it was either there's something by your foot or there's something behind you. <laughs> there's something. There was something in the fucking water with me. That's all I heard. When I tell you that I raised out of the water like Jesus <laughs> and ran upon its surface, I'm not lying to you. This happened. It was a fucking miracle. I took off across the goddamn water and jumped on that motherfucker. And if her ass hadn't been real close to where I could pull her back on, she would still be out there. Uh, took the fuck off. It was a fucking stingray. But of course, in my mind, all I think is shark. <laughs> I'm about to die. There's a fin behind me. But no, it was a stingray. Which is still nothing you want to fuck with, but not, you know, quite as scary. But anything out in the fucking water is scary. But yeah, we rode off and I saw it. It was a big fucking, it was a big fucking stingray. But it was it was out there and it was right next to my foot, apparently, when I was swimming her way. But yeah, that's my shirt. Let me, let me read these comments and we'll get to this case. <clears throat> Uh, well, I remember being on the swim team and I hated it. Not me. I was a beach lifeguard for summer camp. I enjoy swimming and I like the beach, but I don't like what's in the ocean. In 2006, One Direction was a terrible brand, terrible band walking on water. Yes, Steve Irwin sure did. Yes, exactly. See, they killed Steve Irwin. This was before Steve Irwin died, but... Yeah, this is, uh, they killed him. They can kill you. I mean, they're probably not quite as aggressive as a shark. I'd rather run into a stingray than a shark, but (laughs) I don't want to run into shit while I'm out in the ocean. Okay. All right, last piece. Last piece of this puzzle, besides the GPU, which I'll open tomorrow on the build. Let me see if I can get this thing over here. Ugh. 
Okay, so we've got... <clears throat> ah, fuck my throat. <laughs> A Cooler Master Master Box TD500 Mesh. Exquisitely Ruthless. I know you can't see that, but it says it right there. I don't know what exquisitely ruthless means. It's right there. But this case is exquisitely ruthless, apparently. Um, it's the black version. They have a white one. But I, I've seen those all-white rigs, and I just... I don't... I mean, I don't think they're bad or anything, but it's just not what I was going after. Um, polygonal mesh. Crystalline tempered glass. The glass on this is supposed to be really cool, because it's legit... It's glass... But it's curved, not curved, but like, bent. it's supposed to be really cool. Uh, triple AGRB fans, dual 360M radiator support, room for upgrades. Okay, so this will, I, I have a 360 millimeter radiator, so it'll absolutely fit in here. I've already checked to make sure all these components work together on PCBuilder.com, and they do. They are actually the ones where I got this case. I didn't buy them from there, but that's where I got the idea of using this case. Um, I originally had a different case in mind, but when I went on PCBuilder.com, they didn't necessarily say the case would not work with my rig, because, I mean, it's a case. They didn't say everything wouldn't fit, but they did not have that case in their system, so it didn't say yay or nay, and I got paranoid. They recommended this one, and I was like, well, let me look at that, and I actually do like this one. I like this one better than the other one. The other one was really big. It was much bigger than this. I think it may have been too big, so. But let's open this bad boy up. <laughs> if, so I should probably lift my camera. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. How about I do this? Let's let's reposition the camera a bit. Let's actually bring it down a touch. And bring it back. That'll be good enough. I hadn't really considered the case when I was putting this little spot here together. This is probably where I'll build the case as well. I mean, build the 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 uh, computer tomorrow. But there's the box. The unboxing. I guess people like to see this stuff. There's like specs and stuff. All the specs are covered up by this shipping label <laughs> there's some stuff I already read that it's a four millimeter thick tempered glass so yeah all right I could have stood up to do this but I was too lazy This has probably been the thing that was most difficult for me not to open while I was waiting. Because I've had this since Wednesday. All right, I'm going to have to stand up to pull this out of the box. You guys like that butt shot? All kinds of ass. Alrighty. Let me get rid of this. Shit's making a whole bunch of static electricity. 
great for com PC components. All right, we got like a little instruction manual. Fuck, this plastic's not playing nice. There we go. And there she is. Now it's a mesh front. And I don't know if you can see it. It's got like this fractal kind of design. It's raised and lowered and all that. I thought that looked pretty neat. Like on the video, it's a bit harder to see. Maybe when the lights are on, you can. But in real life, it looks pretty neat. It's interesting looking. I like that. Um, looks like we got two, th two 3.0s on the front. 3.0 USBs. Headphone, microphone, a reset button, and of course a power button. A nice little click to that. <laughs> Not any click to that. Uh, magnetic mesh there, per usual. Up top. Uh, this does. This comes off. We'll pull that off in a minute. And here's that whole thing. Like this is pretty cool looking. I think it's got it's got plastic on it right now. Yeah. But this glass is like this, that's like cut. Here, let's pull this. I'm going to leave that on until I finish the build, even though I'll end up taking it off. But let's look inside. But yeah, it's like, it's like bent. It's, it's weird. It's really, they like apparently, that's on there. I can't thumb those off. Need a screwdriver. But uh, they apparently um, won't let people see their process, how they do that, because it's some type of like secret process as to how they are able to like do those 90 degree angles to their glass in their the the cooler master. Alrighty. Yeah, they was they was on there pretty tight. A good, I guess that's good for shipping and whatnot. Pretty stout screws, man. Which I mean, I guess you want them to be. You don't. I don't need. That. I mean, like my current one is magnetic, and I've never had any issues with it. You can just like uh, it. It swings out that way. I know some people don't prefer that design. Now this I'd heard about, like you can undo it. You can undo the, and you can't see it from that way. But like the, the two, they're off and see how it just kind of sits there. You don't have, you, if you're not ready to take it off, you can still like sit it there. Cause it's got like this rail down at the bottom that hooks it on. It's like a little creature comfort. Like if you just wanted to sit it on there, but it just lifts off. As you can see, there's like this rail here that holds it on. But this is the insides of the case. We got a bunch of, let's open the other side. And we've of course got the front. Or RGB fans, they feel pretty good. Now I had heard about these fans down here. The, you can't really see them on here that much, but um, this bottom fan is held in by like these weird like plastic rivets that you can take out. And apparently, um, because the bottom fan is so close to the cage, and this is a common problem with newer PCs, because now that we put power supplies down here, and you got like the uh, 
hard if you're going to use a hard drive cage okay, usually right here this thing it's hard to get like a screwdriver in there to screw in the uh the uh this fan from the back side so they've got like this kind of like plastic rivet thing that apparently is a pretty neat idea so that's neat i guess i mean I'm, i don't have much of a use for that but whatever I wonder if that'll make it more difficult to get the radiator in. Who knows? Actually, now that I'm looking at that, I don't think I'm going to be able to do my radiator upside down like I was hoping. Because that's going to be quite... I might. We'll see. I mean, I'll try it. There's room. Because I, I think the graphics card is probably going to come to about there. I'll get exact measurements. I mean, I'll have it tomorrow, so I'll just put it in there. But it's probably going to come to about right there. So... There will be room for the radiator to go here. It's just whether I can make that turn and if there's enough tubing to go from approximately here to about right there is where the CPU will be. I don't know. We'll see. Let's check out the... Uh, let me put this back on. Let's check out our cable management situation because that is always the biggest pain in the ass in, well, my experience has always been the biggest pain in the ass in any computer build that I ever did. And it looks like, I mean, we got a decent amount of hooks. These little deals right here where you can attach, um, where you can attach uh, like Velcro straps or zip ties or whatever. You've got these little push throughs here from the other side. That's where most of our cabling is gonna come from from the motherboard. Um, I like these. Have them up there. Like right now, my current PC, my SSD or my SSDs are mounted right here. Or actually like right here. I've got one that they're, they're, they're mounted up front on the bottom of the uh, power or on top of the power supply and hard drive cage. I don't have a hard drive in my new one. I only have SSDs, but um, so, but this one back here, you've got more. I like how my GPU is only a 1660 super though. So it's not massive. So I don't need that extra space, but back here, you've got this thing. And I heard about something else I liked about this case. It has these like rubber grommets that will go right here that the stands on the um, SSD, it just pushes on there and you can pull them off, but they like, it holds it there snug. So you don't have to worry about like uh, screwing in and all that, which is not that big a deal. I don't mind screwing in an SSD, but it's convenient. It looks like we've got, oh yeah, silica gel, which could kill somebody if they eat that. I'm curious about the RGB controller, or the fan controller, not the RGB, in this unit. Yeah, here's one of those grommets I was talking about. Like this thing. It goes like right here, and it's got just that hole there, and it just stick, it sticks on there. I think, I mean, it's like, once again, it's not a must, but it's a neat thing. Standoffs, yay! I've heard horror stories about not getting your standoffs and then not being able to build your computer right then because you didn't have standoffs. Tell me this is not... It is. Okay, so... I was hoping the controller for the fans would be a bit more. It looks like thinking we only got the one that's what this is right yeah that's a fan that's a fan looks like they come to here they plug into this module so there's not like a controller but my fans came with one so each each set of fans came with one that takes it down to one so that's fine it'll make it work um, and I've got three up there. So if I put the radiator and three, then I'd have three for the top. I still need one more 
for the exhaust. So I might just do two. Maybe just the push pull. I'll, I'll leave one because I need one for the back. So yeah, I'll be short one fan. I'll end up buying another set of fans, in other words, or a single fan. We'll see. But we get some zip ties, of course, and just like with the motherboard that came with zip ties, everything else is held together great, except for the thing that is included to hold things together, they throw in there loose. You can put a rubber band on them? <laughs> just saying. I mean, at least this time it was in a plastic bag. We'll give them that much. So I guess that held them together. Maybe I'm asking too much. I don't know. Spend $7,000 on... PC components. I don't know if I'm asking too much for anything. But yeah, this is the case, guys and gals. Where's my trash can? Way over there. Holy shit, I made that. I threw that across the room, and this is a fairly large room. Anyway, um, everything looks legit. I mean, everything looks like I don't think we're going to have any issues tomorrow night. Let's stick all this shit back in here. The vast majority of all these cables you're seeing are for fucking fans and RGB. But I'm not foreseeing any issues. I mean, everything is slated to fit inside here. So yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna be good. Once again, my my uh, radiator. Oh, it's already got the standoffs in there. Look at them. That's cool. I don't have to put them in myself. That's really... You know what? That seems like a stupid thing. You're like, so what? That's nice. That's a tedious bullshit thing I don't have to do. So I am happy I don't have to put the standoffs in. I've got this cage. I'm probably... I'm wondering if the power supply will fit in there. This side of the, the uh, cage... Well, the whole cage. The whole hard drive cage is removable. And I mean, I don't. I'm not putting an HDD in here. I'm, I'm only. I'm running only S, uh, SSDs, and they're going to be here, or wherever, not here, and NVMEs. So I might have to take that side out, but it's just held in by two, four screws, no problem. So I don't know if that big ass. Oh, it's right here. Let's see. I'm not going to take the back plate. Well, the back plate's already off. Let's see if it fits. Now, I don't like that. I have to put it in there upside. Yeah, I got to put it in there upside down. Because the fan, unless I want the fan facing up, which who the hell wants that? And that means the this whole LED situation is going to be facing the back. So it's kind of pointless. Because I think it's supposed to go this way. But, I mean... Who wants the fan pushing up into the case where there's no ventilation for that? It fits, though. I wouldn't have to take that cage out. Yeah. It fits just right. It does have, I mean, it would be cool because, I mean, we got the cutout and everything for that LCD. Does it matter? I'd, I'd hate to have a fan with that right there blowing straight out of there. Is that okay? I'm not really sure. I mean, I've always, you know, the fan should be exhaust, like pushing out, not onto my, do I really want it ejecting heat onto my graphic? My graphics card will be right here. So it'll essentially be blowing heat in here. However, I will have an exhaust and a whole bunch of cold air from all directions coming. Maybe it wouldn't make that big a deal. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I got holes and stuff there, so... And there's heat sinks and everything on that thing. It just seems odd that they... put it in there that way. And look, this is like up... Oh, because you can have it this way, or it can go both ways. So yeah, it can go in that... Yeah, that's just a weird design. Oh well. We'll look at that more tomorrow when I'm putting it together. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I think this goes with the the motherboard. Ooh. Oops, almost lost that. So yeah, there's our case, ladies and germs. I'll just slide this on for now. 
I hate this. Let's see if these things have gotten any easier since I was younger. Well, I guess so. A little bit. Those used to be such a bitch to line up back in the day. Now, see, I heard when I, I, I watched a review of this case, and it gets really good airflow, by the way. The, the case had great thermals. And they talked about how putting this back on was a little bit more of a pain in the ass than they wanted it to be. And, like, they were fiddling with these thumb screws, and they were like, oh, it's just a bit too much. I just did that one-handed. I mean, what the fuck, guys? Get the fuck over yourselves. Yeah, but there she is. That's what she's going to look like but lit up and shit and with all that other shit that we went through in it. Yep. There it is, guys. So, that's everything with the exception of the GPU, which I will be unboxing tomorrow evening because it should be here. Um, it's in Montgomery, which is about 30 minutes that way. <laughs> it's the closest uh, everything that comes to my house from the ships USPS or UPS always uh, goes to Montgomery and then the next morning it says out for delivery so it arrived in Montgomery at 2.30 this afternoon so pretty high uh, hey is that terrific over Valeris terrific did you change your name let's see what we got here what we got here every or Le Lord Kakerson is here, right at the end. Or not, maybe not, not necessarily the end. I will go ahead and tell you guys that. Everybody who's in here real quick before I start reading these. Um, those of you that were in here for the first half of the stream know that I had a router issue and it cut me off and just ended the stream. Um, I don't think it's going to do that again before I end. But I will let you know, if it does do that, if the stream just goes dead all of a sudden... Sorry in advance. I'm not going to go up there and restart and go through all the shit I had to do to restart the stream. Because, I mean, I've unboxed everything. But we'll talk for a few minutes before I get out of here. But if it does, if I just die out, thanks everybody for coming. <laughs> and uh, you guys uh, come back tomorrow night. I don't know exactly what time. But barring something major happening, tomorrow night I will be building this PC. And I should have the GPU by then. And I'll unbox it right at the beginning, which is just a fucking GPU. It's a big fucking chip. It comes out and it's like, hey, here you go. It's RTX 3090 Ti. Um, but we'll do the build tomorrow night. I'll have everything ready and probably a little bit better camera angle as I do it too. But uh, that'll be tomorrow night. It will probably be later in the evening. Like This one was 10 o'clock my time, which I usually go at 9 o'clock my time. I'm thinking it'll be a little bit, it'll be around that time, maybe a little bit later. Like I said the other night in my stream, my older kids who uh, live on their own are uh, coming to visit tomorrow. My daughters, my three daughters that live out in the world are uh, coming to visit tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow morning. So whenever they leave and everything calms down here, that's when I'm going to jump on and do it. So, but anyway, yeah, we're going to talk for a little bit. I'm going to hang out. But if the stream does just die out of nowhere because my router said fuck off, I don't want to do this anymore tonight, That's I'm not coming back tonight. Okie doke. Let's see. Where did I leave off? Sort of like, dang, you guys have said a lot since Shipman Soup. I'll look it up. What? Okay, here's where I was. Man, I was way down. The deepest water I've ever... This is Dragon. Uh, the deepest water I've ever been in was at the Cayman Islands. I stayed the same room... I stayed in the same room as Gene Hackman stayed in when filming The Firm. Oh, that's cool. Uh, swam... The same stingrays... St swam with the same stingrays that killed Irwin before he died. Oh, shit. I believe Steve might have encountered a manta ray. I'll look it up. It was a stingray dragon. Dragon? Yeah. Giant stingray. I spent this kind of money on a grow setup a few years back. I still have it, although I haven't used it in years. A grow setup? What is a grow setup? What are you growing? <laughs> it was like $2,800. 
Yeah, that was sad about Erwin. I saw the video somehow of when it happened. Really? I never saw the video. Victim of the old internet, I guess. In the Cayman Islands, they get as big as a man's chest. I got to hold one in front of me and took my feet off the bottom of the sea. Uh, bottom of the seabed and it pushed me like nothing oh i believe it there was a place in um in nashville where i used to live there's this big mall it's really not as big as people make it seem but there's a mall called opry mills and they uh it's it's a big mall it is big but they had a place a uh, restaurant there that had like this giant i think the restaurant was called the aquarium this was before that flood a few years back I think the restaurant's still there, but this other place is not, because the flood killed a lot of the fish. In this, uh, in the middle of this restaurant, running throughout it was this giant aquarium with like real big fish and stuff. I don't know. If there's any, there were some sharks and things like that, but not like great whites. Those none of those were in captivity, but um, lots of things, lots of manta rays and stingrays. And uh, there was next to it, there was like it was almost like a gift shop. Pretty much was a gift shop, and it had this giant like waist high water pool, and it had stingrays in it. And you could go and pet them. And it's just open to everybody. You just walk up and you could pet stingrays. They were all... Like the biggest one they had in there was probably about like... I don't know. Can you see that? Like that big? I mean, pretty big. I mean, it's fucking big. But I don't know if it was like as big as these ones you were talking about. But <clears throat> I don't know if the barbs maybe were out of these things. Because anybody could walk up and touch these fucking things. They were just that. That's what it was there. It was like a petting zoo for stingrays. But yeah, they're 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 pretty stout. I'll say that. Um, what about the barb though? They have that damn dagger as a tail. <laughs> uh, dude, I slipped on some ice earlier and caught myself, but I split the palm of my hand open. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, it's on near back end of the tail. The guy that took me and my friends out showed us the barb and everything. He grabbed the tail near the barb, and hap what happened to Erwin was just a freak accident. Yeah, I don't think that they typically, like, attack people in that manner. I mean, how did he get stabbed, though? Shit, man, super glue, close that wound up. Food. Yeah, right? Was he attacked? I don't think he was attacked by it. I think he was holding it, and it just, like, it just shot at it's, like It was kind of a, I know it was not a normal thing. It's Major Jacob, but this is a pivotal investment, man. I hope so. Yeah, Stingray just uh, panicked and defended itself. And it's wild to go out that way. Yeah, especially with all the crazy shit Erwin did. Yeah, it's, uh, it is badass, Jacob. It looks awesome, brother. Hey, thanks, man. I hope so. I like the look of it. The other one I was getting was kind of crazy looking, but I, I actually, especially now that I'm seeing it in person, I do like this case. I mean, it's simple, but it's got some cool little flourishes to it. It's not too flashy. It's kind of low-key. And the, I'm glad I went with the, like, black. Because now I think with, like, all the green that I'm going to put on the inside. Because I got a green thing, you know. Uh, hopefully it'll look cool. Uh, sort of like a Vietnam Vietnam vet going, going to COVID. <laughs> Guinness Stout, huh? Oh, my hat, yeah. Best beer in the world, says Dragon. Oh, extra stout, actually. I never did like that one. I like the other one. I mean, I've had the stout a ton. Uh, I do like it, but in terms of preference, uh, I'm from an Irish family, so I can't go against the family of Guinness or Jameson, says Dragon. Right on, man. And there is Terrific. Had went and changed his name. Valeris Terrific. Hello, hello, Terrific. Jacob, you should start a cooking channel also. Oh, man. You know, I considered doing, when I was thinking about all the different ways I could do movie reviews, I considered doing movie reviews while I cooked. Because <laughs> for those of you that don't know, and I know Antonio, that's what he's referencing, my trade prior to being a YouTuber, um, I was, my profession for damn near 20 years was I was a professional chef. I don't, I guess I was, I, not that I was, I guess you always are. It's not like... I stop being one. I just don't... I'm not a practicing professional chef anymore. I guess I'm still technically a professional chef. Trained and all that. I worked in many a restaurant. And no, I was. there's a difference... Before anybody says it, if you don't know, there is a big difference between a cook and a chef. <laughs> Cooks make the food that chefs create. 
Uh, not that chefs don't ever cook. We we do plenty. I cooked plenty of food. Um, decided to show up four hours late. This is terrific. It's all good, man. Uh, Jacob Anders cooks. Yeah, hey, you know what? You know that goes along with my naming conventions, my super original naming convention of my channel, channels. Jacob Anders reviews. Jacob Anders gaming. Jacob Anders cooks. <laughs> I can do it. You know, I'm I'm cool with it. If I ever go on Pornhub, Jacob Anders fucks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, let's do it. Uh, yeah, same fucking terrific. Hey, your new name. Uh, Jameson is the most shoplifted liquor I read a while back. Really? I didn't know that. Jameson's is a cure-all. Uh, I love Boxty, by the way. Minus apostrophe. Uh, I want to eat the gel. <laughs> no, don't do that. It could kill you. <laughs> uh, that Sunday breakfast. Jacob, why are you building? Why am I bu Like, my computer? I just want to. Too excited. And dude, I want to box it in some fries and malt vinegar. Oh, see, you lost me there. I can't, I can't do malt vinegar. I hate malt vinegar. Uh, I can't even be around it. Like there are very few things, especially being a chef by trade. There are very few things that like food wise, especially that I can't stomach or be around vinegar, malt vinegar. Oh man. I just, it, I cannot stand it. I mean, I've had to work around it before. So, like, I can keep my composure, but honestly, in my head, I'm like, get that the fuck away from me. <laughs> That's just me, though. I'm flipping out. And that potato soup you guys like with all the scallions. Lord Kakerson, what's up? I'll make you some collard greens. Oh. Uh, why did that turn into an emoji? I don't know. What'd you, what did you type? All I see is the emoji. You. There we go. Oh, okay. You tried that. Oh, yeah, man. You know how all these, all the medias and social, every, where, whenever you type, like the OG emojis like that, you try them now and they like make it some emoji face or something. There we go. Cake, 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 cake. Hello again. This is an MVP chat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> every day you invest is a day you don't work chat. Uh, Antonio, Lord Cakerson, almost all Irish dishes have potatoes. That is true. We showed the world how to use them. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Nah, <laughs> anybody know what that's from? <laughs> Very good beard, says Lord Cakerson. You talking about me? Thank you. Probably need to trim it up some. It's getting a little scruffy. I need a haircut, too. My hair is a fucking mess. It's just all over the place. Uh, I shaved recently, too says terrific i have a goatee that doesn't connect and i'm almost 35 <laughs> you know what man i'll be i'll be uh, real with you like this right here the the connection if you will when i was in uh i didn't get i didn't that didn't grow in until probably my early 30s like when i was like in my 20s i would grow a goatee and it was like that leonardo dicaprio one where like there was nothing here and it was like a soul patch maybe a little <laughs> that was I could, it, this just, well, it was only one side. It's uh, this side. As you can already tell, it's a little thinner. Hey, like, you know, I mess with it some. <laughs> it's a little thinner on this side. Everything's backwards on this on this video I'm looking at, so. But, like, this side just wouldn't grow. But now it, it uh, when I started, like, growing a beard and holding one for a while, it, it, it started to grow. I don't know why. Maybe it just seems that way because the hair is longer. Uh, sad. I can't grow a beard not in my genetics. Genetics, I guess. I couldn't for a long time. I try. I would. I would. I just had to. It was when I got older. All of a sudden, I was able to, and I just let it happen. And now it's easier for some reason. So that whole thing about like growing hair and like letting it and like shaving it all. I've never really believed that, but there might be something to it. I don't know. If you cook it right, shepherd's pie is a is great, man. Yes, it is. I have made it in a minute, though. Haven't made it in a minute, though. Need to now, though. Shepherd's pie is good. 
My dad has a beard though, and I'm going to get some get some hymns. <laughs> you gonna you gonna get some hymns and put it on your face? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is it hymns like a is it a pill or is it uh like some uh cream or something? I don't know. It's probably something you put a topical solution. Maybe you can put it on your face. <laughs> I don't know exactly how hymns work. I just know it's like hair growth. Uh, well, you aren't alone on that. I'm a beta male. I don't have a beard, <laughs> says Antonio. I can't grow one either, says Lord Cakerson. I'm sure you will eventually. Patience, I think. Shepherd's pie, make sure you use the mashed potatoes as the topping. Congrats, Jacob. Everything I saw looks awesome, man. Thanks, Dragon. Uh, that's what he says. Always the end. I'm going to get some... Biotin? I want some hair on my chest. What's biotin? Does that grow hair, I guess? Ah, says Lord Cakerson. My dad says that. Oh, all right. I love watching people with PCs I'll never afford, says Lord Cakerson. I literally uh, still have an Intel Core i3. Wow, damn. Hey, you know what? If it's working for you, that's all that matters. And you know what? If you'd asked me a few years ago, I would not have been sitting... I would have told you, no, I'll never be sitting there with a Core i9-1200... Or 12900K RTX 380 Ti. Or 3080 Ti. Hell no. I would have never done that. Got a coin, though. This is, this is the uh, processor. <laughs> this isn't. This is the processor case, but... Yeah, if you had told me, if you if you had asked me a few years ago, and not even just price, just whether I would have done it or not, if I would be opening one of these fuckers one day on a stream, I would have been like, no, I'm not, that, I'm not going to do that. But here I am. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, it's not as expensive as it seems. It is. But, who knows? You might be able to afford it one day. Really depends on, like, if, if, what's it worth to you. Um, oh, no. Okay. I love... I already... St uh, my beard is long, white, and a few red hairs in it. Right on, dragon. Yeah, you have 56k dial-up, you say, cake? <laughs> no way. <laughs> White beards are the best beards, says Lord Cakerson. Dragon the Irishman. Me? I don't recall saying that. <laughs> I grow set up for those. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha. Those four-leaf clovers, yeah, I bet. Maple leaves. Yep, even got a huge Irish theme tattoo. Arr. My room is literally an igloo. I'm camping. Get hot chocolate. I have... Oh, calamity. Close enough. Irish food. My God. Corned beef hash. Yeah, corned beef hash is good. You're a chef. I am. Not a practicing one anymore. A retired Gordon Ramsay. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I might be one of those people on the show that he comes and like yells at <laughs> I was a line cook, and a sous chef was pissing me off. Yeah, they can do that. We all piss each other off. It's a in a kitchen, man. Everybody is always pissed off off at pissed off at everybody. It's just at the end of the day, if you're all still cool. I went to the bathroom, had about eight orders of fried ziti. Uh, Irish food sits heavy on the chest. Trust me. I ruined my monitor, says Lord Cakerson. What did you do? I'll be back in a bit. All right. I hope you didn't break the monitor. I'll be here, there. I turned on... Ifinity by X? What is Ifinity? And my screen turned white as hell. Oh, is that like an aspect ratio or something? Malt vinegar on the potatoes, Jacob. No, no, no. I just can't do malt vinegar. I don't. Mm -mm. Uh, movie trivia time. What was the first movie to show a toilet flushing? I know this. It's, um... Uh, Psycho. You know they had an issue with the toilet flushing more than the woman getting stabbed in the shower? Oh wait, was it Psycho or Peeping Tom? I think it was Psycho, right? Am I right? 
I was really confident there with that first answer. <laughs> May have been PPD. I think it was Psycho. Pretty sure it was Psycho. Uh, Dragon a Trump documentary, perhaps. Favorite movie shot in L.A.? Um, man, I don't know. Favorite one shot in L.A.? I'd have to think of that. Ooh, Lethal Weapon. That's a good one, Dragon. Yes, that is a good one. Beverly Hills Cop. That's a good one, too. Favorite Jason movie. Ooh, I get it because I reviewed all of those this year or last year. Um, the fucking one. What was it? the one that I said was really fun? Or, uh, ooh, you know what? I mean, I can't say you can you can cop out and say the first one, but really, Jason goes to hell. Not Jason. Goes, yeah, Jason goes to hell. Or Jason X were both so fucking stupidly fun. And I remember hating Jason Goes to Hell. I saw that in theaters. And Jason X. I didn't like either of those. But now, like, years later, I go back and watch them. Like, they're so stupid. <laughs> they're, they're fun. That's the most fun. I didn't say the best, but the most fun Jason movie. Uh, one through eight. Any movie before 1970 when they were only shot L.A.? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have an Intel Core i3 3225, and my GPU is an Asus HD7480. This is a 2014 built build, but it still runs like a champ. Hell yeah, I mean, there you go, man. If it runs and it does what you need it to do, screw it. You don't need nothing else. Uh, Drag says, Friday the 13th, no Friday after that is good. Fun to watch, yes, but not good. Yeah, I'm with you there. I'll say the first one is the mo is probably the best movie but as far as like fun the one where uh jason takes manhattan is fucking awful it's still awful i saw that in theaters too i thought it was awful then i think it's fucking awful now now jason goes to hell is a lot better than i remember it or a lot more fun than i remember it being uh when i saw it earlier or later last year and jason x was a lot more fun than i remember it being and one of the ones, I think it was part six. No, part six. The, the New Blood was not. I didn't like the New Blood. But the one with Tommy Tommy Jarvis as an adult where he comes back. He's got like a jean jacket. And he gets with the girl, the police chief's daughter or whatever it was or something. And they drive around in the... That one was just fun as hell. It was almost like a comedy. I liked that one too. That may have been seven. It was the one right before the New Blood, I think it was. The end of the Tommy Jarvis saga. Aha, see, the answer of the toilet flushing was Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. See, I knew that. But I second-guessed myself. I do that a lot with trivia. A retired Rachel Ray. Can't argue there. Um, I'll remember that, Dragon. Good to know. Love your hat. Who? Oh, I guess me. I'm the only one you guys can see. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, yes, it was Psycho 6. 6 is the one. Yeah, 6 is, yeah, 6 is the new blood. I think it's 7. 1 through 8, though. <clears throat> Head's getting punched off. Yeah, that was the only, now that was the one part that was funny as hell from Jason Takes Manhattan when he does that boxing match on top of the, the building um, in Manhattan. That was funny as shit. And he beats that guy, like, beating the shit out of Jason. And Jason just takes that one hit and knocks his fucking mannequin head off. That was funny as shit. Uh, heads, uh, Jason takes Manhattan as shit. Yeah, it is, man. Absolute shit. Tyson punch out. Uh, damn, Jacob beat me to it. Well, I'm gonna go to bed now, says Lord Kagerson. Good night, Jacob. Love you, ma. Uh, same to the other folks as well. All right. Thanks, Glory Kakerson. Come hang out again. I'll be uh, live again tomorrow evening. It'll be a little bit later again. Uh, building this monster of a PC. So hope to see you there. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Seven is a new blood. Okay, that's what I thought. Six is Jason Lives. That's the one. Jason Lives was a pretty good time. Five is a new beginning. I didn't like new beginning. I remember that one being pretty eh. Uh, cheated that game, Antonio. Four is next chapter for the one with Corey Feldman or was that three that was three 
Yeah, three was Corey Feldman. Next chapter was when Tommy Jarvis was a little older. I don't know. I get it mixed up. Three is 3D. Yeah, yeah. Three is the let me be straight about Jason. <laughs> let me be straight about Jason. Two, the story Paul told was scary as hell. Oh, the one where he's talking out in the... Because I remember reviewing these not too long ago. Uh, part two where he's sitting there telling the story about Jason and how he's still out there. Movie trivia time. Who wrote True Romance? Quentin Tarantino. <sighs> Who directed True Romance? You know that one? I could be talking up my ass. I'm pretty sure it was Tony Scott. Ridley Scott's brother. Uh... Right, Philbin is four. Yeah, because then the older version is five, and then six is like the final version. He had a three movie arc. Damn, I should know that. That's my genre. Yep, yeah, Tony Scott. Quentin Tarantino wrote True Romance, though. And uh, same time, True Romance is a great movie, by the way. Very under appreciated nowadays uh what's the other one natural born killers he wrote that one too but that was the story was like changed drastically from his original version i really want to put this computer together now <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i want to start slotting shit into that motherboard just pushing chips into slots Look at that sexy case. Ooh. <laughs> I do like this case, man. I mean, I like I, mean, I like it more and more cuz when I was buy, when I bought it and I look at the pictures I'd be like, mm, "It's cool. I like it." It's like as I looked at it, I was like second guessing myself more and more. But now I do. I like it. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Yes, sir. I like it a lot. I'm wondering about the fan situation. I am wondering about, you know what? Fuck it. Let's try this. While we're talking, I want to answer a question right now. Where's the radiator? Ugh. So there's like boxes. <laughs> Partially open boxes and shit everywhere. Okay, so let's... I want to answer a question as to how I'm going to end up having to mount this radiator. Now, it won't be fully answered until I get the actual GPU. I mean, I could look at the specs of the GPU. Ooh, creak. I could look at the specs of the GPU and uh, see whether or not, you know, what its length is exactly and see whether or not I'll be able to fit it. But it's really, I'm just going to fuck all that shit. So let's see. Because I'm worried that, that that turn there at the bottom is just too much. Oh, shit. I might get a bigger table for tomorrow. So traditionally, you'll see people mount these. Like that. Actually. Yeah, just like that. And CPU will be right in this area. But the better way is to mount it like that. If that's up there. But I don't know if they'll make that turn. Yeah, that, that shroud right there is just too... I don't know if you guys can see it very well. That's I 
I'd have to like bend them up, and I don't really want to put that much of a, a a bend on them. I mean, you could do it. I'm just I don't want to put too much of a strain on them like that if I don't have to. But also, I don't know if I would have, because you got to think, while the CPU is going to be about right here, you got a graphics card coming out, so I don't know if I'd have enough tubing to make that, make that run. So, I guess my question is, or the question I have to answer is whether I want to mount it on the front this way, which is fine. This way is fine. I mean, people do it all the time. As long as your pump is below your inlets, you're not going to get... I mean, you can't do it like that, but um, which it would be. I mean, th this thing takes up pretty much the whole case. GPU is going to be right around there, so it's it's okay. No, not GPU, the uh, CPU. It will be... The pump will be below the inlets, so this would work. Or... mount it up top which I've heard a lot of good things about mounting on the top as well and mount it like that it probably make more sense to come around from the back actually like loop it around I'm probably gonna do the top and it really depends on once I have the motherboard in there, how much room it allows me. Because that's not a lot of space from that I.O. port. Because I have fans that are going to be on here too. And see the fans in this thing, they're mounted on the inside. So I got to think, if I want to do a push-pull configuration, I'm going to have fans... And then I'm going to have, you know, you get about this much more fan. So I don't know if it'll fit up top. Oh, shit. I don't know. That's one of the things I'm going to have to get the uh, thing in there. So, but I don't think this, that was the question I had was, would it fit this way? And I don't, yes, I could fit it in there. And I could even, I'm actually not even, excuse me, too upset. with the angle it puts the hoses at once they're in there it's in there it's hitting that wall but i'm okay with that the problem is is i don't think that's going to reach my cpu pretty sure the cpu is going to be right in here it's not going to read it reach it plus gpu's right here yeah it ain't going to reach that shit. there's no fucking way so i either got to come in from the front the traditional way which is not the most ideal but workable or the top but i don't if i come in from the top i don't know if i'll be able to do that push pull fan because you gotta think each fan's about that thick i'm gonna be doing them on both sides so this whole situation is gonna be about that thick i'm gonna be down into the motherboard at that point so probably gonna have to come in from the front because i'm able to these fans on the front i'd only have to it'll be out to about there with the fans and everything so yeah that's probably what's going to happen there. Yep. So that answers that question. Probably going to be coming from the front. Not the perfect situation, but, you know, it works. It's still going to do its thing. I mean, it's it's not like, oh, no, you're, you're you know, it's just going to go to total shit now. But as long as the pump is below the, the inlets, we're good. Um... The scene with Christopher Walken, damn. Uh, Christopher Walken, he was the, he was the gang, the 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 gangster, right? And he killed uh, uh, Christian Slater's dad, who was Dennis Hoppe. Put it together and cut this part out. Put what? Cut what part out? Like all this? And then post it as, as clips throughout the day. Oh, the build? 
Well, I'll probably what I'll do is I'll I'll put it together, and then I will put a like a sped up and just condensed version of the build as a separate video on my gaming channel. Christopher Walken, King of New York. Yep, that's a oldie goldie. Awesome movie. Sugar Hill, Walken, not in, but don't. When you mentioned King of New York, oh, Sugar Hill came to mind. Yeah, Sugar Hill was uh, uh, wasn't that Wesley Snipes? My bad, I can't type right tonight. <laughs> top mount, it looks better. I that's the thing is that I want to go with the top mount, but I don't know how much room I'm gonna have once I put the motherboard in. I'll see if I can do top mount and still do the push pull that I'm wanting to do, and even if I can just do the if I can put the that if the if it'll all fit there at the top is probably where I'm going to put it but I've always I know it'll fit up front I can tell just by looking at it but yeah the 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 front mounted coming from the bottom just isn't going to work it won't reach and when I put the motherboard in here if I look at it and I'm like oh yeah maybe it will. I don't think it will though. there's no fucking way And he dropped it down. Jake was just damn. <laughs> Look up first. iPhone 6 sold in Perth. Dropped by kid 37 seconds long. Yes, sir, Jacob. You're on the move. You're on the movie trivia tonight. I can't stump you tonight, unlike on Conan. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, f I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't forget. I had a list, and I was just going by the list. I wasn't really thinking about it. I have a Conan, a Conan tattoo on my side, so. <laughs> can't let you live that one down. Yeah, no, I'm never going to live that down. Which, I mean, I can't blame you because I should never have forgotten that one. I should have been looking forward to it. Which I was. It just, you know, I don't know. didn't think about it. It makes me want to second guess the rest of my list. There's 260 movies on that list <laughs> right now. Which that uh, series, by the way, will be starting back in about a week. And I will also be going back to uh, videos every day in the beginning of March. March 1st, I think, with, beginning with the Batman, uh, the Batman review. Batman review. I'm getting to see that a few days early. Got a screener, screening that I signed up for. Uh, which I think I'm, I think I'm seeing that on the first. It comes out on the fourth or the fifth, so I only get to see it a few days early. But a, f a friend of mine, he's got um, he got a, a early press screening, and he's getting to go like this month, the end of the month, which is a few days earlier than I I am. But I'm kind of jealous about that. The Spirit, that shitty one. The movie The Spirit, the one with Sam Jackson and other people. Oh, wait. Isn't... Yeah, it's Sam Jackson and uh, Black Widow. What the fuck? Man, I'm terrible with names tonight. Uh, Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson. She's in that, too. The guy, I can't remember who he is, the, the actual spirit. If we're talking about the same movie, I'm thinking we're talking about Spirit. The what the uh, Frank Miller directed movie that took heavy inspiration aesthetically from Sin City. Dying to see the new Batman. Favorite comic book character. Not too sure about Pattinson. Hey, uh, okay, so let's talk about Robert Pattinson for a minute. Wabat, Robat Pattinson. Um, he's a good fucking actor, man. He is. He he gets a bad rap for twilight because that's what put him on the map and i can't i kind of can't blame the guy for taking it because i mean those movies did fucking gangbusters and made him a fucking star but uh he even he's even said it, it, it yes it did all that but it also had effects that he wasn't expecting because he was young he's trying to get in the industry you know they come along with this big ya novel thing and hey this is gonna make you a star okay sure that's that's the goal when you're an actor i guess but he's made some really good movies since that lots of indie flicks and stuff 
And he's made some really interesting movies where he's like acted his ever living ass off. That guy has been in some movies that I've reviewed on my channel and I was like, holy shit. And if you ever were concerned if Robert Pattinson could act or not, watch these movies. He legit is a, a damn good actor. He was in a movie called High Life. This is a sci-fi it was a slow movie, and it was like it was a slow burn. But man, it was, I really liked that movie, and uh, it was all on him. Like almost the whole movie was on his shoulders. Um, there's part long parts of that movie that are just him, and it's really good. He's in um, now. He was in this one movie called Cosmopolitan, I think, and he loves that movie. He, I've heard him talk about it. I fucking hated that movie. I couldn't stand it. He like rides around in a limousine the whole movie. I just couldn't get into that movie but um pretty much everything else i've seen him in now i know he was in a couple of like uh movies right after twilight that might like water for elephants or something like that and some movie where he's like in the trade center that i i can't really comment on i think that was still when he was like part of that but after that he kind of like broke away from hollywood and has been doing his own thing and uh yeah he's he's a really good actor surprisingly enough Kristen stewart even she uh speaking of twilight when she wants to be, she's pretty damn good, too. I was surprised. They just weren't good in Twilight. Both of them were bad. <laughs> Everybody was bad in Twilight. Uh, yeah, Sam Jackson. I like the one where he was in the limo. <laughs> the while the movie can't think of it. That's Cosmopolitan. I didn't like it. And maybe I need to rewatch it. I only watched it once. I was excited to see it because it's a David Cronenberg flick. And uh, it wasn't so much because Robert Pattinson was in it, because that was like one of the first movies he did that was kind of branching out away from the Hollywood scene. So I was kind of like, whatever, it's got Twilight guy in it. But David Cronenberg was making it. I really like David Cronenberg. And it just didn't do it for me. Like, good, yeah, Good Time. Good Time was really good. He did a really good job in that. Oh, The Rover with uh, uh, the Australian movie where he has a an American like a uh, southern accent in it by the way <laughs> like he's like a strong southern like hillbilly accent but it's an australian movie <laughs> i don't know and he's british but um uh guy pierce is in that he's in that with guy pierce he did really good in that as well I'm trying to think of what else he's been in but he's been in a lot of like little movies like that where he just put in some really good performances it's long yeah david was the reason i watched it too yeah Maybe it's one of those movies I need to watch again. I just saw it at the wrong time or something, but I knew it did not do it for me when I saw it originally. Because I actually heard a thing about him, because you know Batman's coming out, so lots of Robert Pattinson stuff, and I, I heard something where he was talking about his favorite roles and all that here recently. Some video on YouTube was while I was editing or something. I was listening to it, and he was talking about that movie. And I remember he brought that up. Oh, I love this movie so much. And I was like, fuck, I hated that movie. <laughs> Maybe I, maybe I need to give it another try sometime. I remember I don't even remember what the fuck the movie was about. The Rover was a great movie. Yes, yes it was. The Rover was really good. Awesome movie uh, for you. Red Hill. Have I seen Red Hill? I'm not sure. I don't know the name off the top of my head. It doesn't it doesn't uh, bring anything to mind. I may have seen it. Another Aussie movie. It has gained some popularity over the years. It's a great movie. I saw it when it first came out. And uh, I. it wasn't until the past few years that anybody knew what the hell I was talking about. It's called... Um, fuck. <laughs> Terrible names. Oh, shit. It's a found footage-ish. It's like a documentary. It's a faux documentary. But it has found footage stuff in it. Uh, Lake... Shit, man. Mungo. Lake Mungo? I think it's called Lake Mungo. Let me look. Let me look. Such a good movie. Really fucking good. Lake 